For the artist, creation is an adventure that blooms in the mind from a very early age. In Nanin's case, that adventure resulted in a unique symbology that derives from geometrical and musical shapes. It's something new, something different, something we're not used to seeing. I think what I do, my art is, is enrolled in geometric and conceptual art. I'm not a kinetic. I'm not a constructivist. I work with an alphabet. I run with numbers, letters, and sounds. These elements help me give my speech. Nanin's language weaves lines into shapes and shows their sound and texture in space. These works are based on mathematical principles, but express forms that are sensitive to the spontaneity of the spirit. Nanin's symbols are filled with allusions to what is cosmic and mysterious, appearing as bridges that extend to infinity. I met Nanin on a flight from Caracas to Paris. By mid-trip, a long-haired hippie introduced himself to me and showed me the drawing of a hippie. So I invited him into my studio in Paris. Since then, we struck a great friendship, which so far culminates in a splendid exhibition. It seems a gift. Many have commented on his extensive artwork. Everything he does is a connection of great beauty with great sensitivity and great intelligence. Abstract art, uh, totally abstract, uh, with a mobility that doesn't exist, but it seems to always be in motion. Uh, it's obviously not. I was confused earlier thinking these were mobiles, but they're not. They're fixed pieces that don't have any movement. But as you move, they move as well. He has a, his own alphabet. It's almost like a musical alphabet. And it's very, um, it's a definitely a feeling. It admits a feeling. It's not just about viewing. It's about actually feeling something. I design and construct it. And when the time comes to set the elements, Remember, these are characters. At that moment, I know there is a divine improvisation. It's aware of what I'm doing. I mean, in the end, the work is mine. Everything. Yet even though I plan it all, improvisation always intervenes. His own alphabet is formed by these geometries, and these explore the essence of our existence. They explore movement, space, rhythm. And through these, Nanin questions, why is space the way it is? What inspires me? What inspired me to make this work? Well, firstly, the work of Jesus Soto, which captivated me so much. That drawing that was able to communicate through script, his work, that picture, produced in me something I'd never heard of. For the first time in front of Soto's work, I saw a work of art. That was when I was very young and I was starting to invent this code. All this language. And he has an advantage. Having background in architecture, his art is not only for individual works, for collections, but also for the street, because he understands the problems of surrounding habitat. His works can be integrated coherently and effectively in our habitat. I'm at a point in my career where I can actually make works of art, works that communicate and defend themselves. I just, my duty is to observe them and move them and make them work for the viewer, for you.